always said Davis Cup is important in your schedule. How important is it? Well, I'll start off by saying I have an opportunity this week to be in home at Cape Town with my fiance, and I've chosen to be up here to play uh, Davis Cup for South Africa. So, uh, having said that, um, it's really important to me, willing to give up that time off, you know. And then, and secondly, I, I think representing your country is the biggest honor you can have as a, as an athlete. So, um, Davis Cup has always been an important event for me, and it will continue to be that way. All of a sudden, at your ripe age you starting to play the best tennis of your life. How come it took so long? I wish I had the answer to that question, you know. I, I ask myself sometimes, it took 10 years to get to this stage, you know, and uh, most likely if I, if I look back and, and knowing what I know now, I would have stopped sooner, you know, but I'm happy that people encouraged me to keep playing and, uh, and get to this stage. But I think the biggest thing is I finally understand what I do well and what I don't do well in a tennis court, you know, and uh, I think my mind has caught up to my physical ability finally. Fantastic run in Australia, getting to the final, a dream of most players to play a Grand Slam final. Just quickly give me a sum up of that in your life. Oh, I mean, it, it means the world to me to have that, that piece of silverware from a Grand Slam final, you know. Uh, um, obviously a little bit of disappointment not going all the way, but I've still got a, a few years to have a go at that. But um, it almost justifies all the years of waking up early and, and sacrificing time away from family just to have that little piece of silverware sitting on my couch at home come out of the Australian Open as a team, you and Eric rank number two in the world on the rankings, and all of a sudden you go through a pretty rough patch. How does, how does that affect you mentally? I mean, it's, it's, it's not that easy. You're going into tournaments, everybody's expecting the world. And yeah, I, I think that expectation was probably the hardest thing to deal with, because we knew that teams hadn't seen that much of us, so they would get some video, they would watch some stuff. But actually, after our last Davis Cup tie, Eric and I won Memphis where we beat the Bryans again, you know, so it didn't start off that rough, and then it kind of got a little bit rough, but this is professional sport, you know, people adjust, they get better, and now it's up to us to go back to the drawing board and, and, and fix things that need to be fixed to, to, to get back to winning. Obviously, there's been a lot of people that have been a big influence in your career. Just go through who's really been a big influence and, and, and introduce him to us. Yeah, well, at the moment, my team consists of Stefan de Kock, who's in, in Cape Town at, Sunet, uh, at the Sunet Tennis Academy, my trainer, Fia Danse. Um, they've done great work in the last four or five years with me, just keep, keeping, me, keeping me healthy, you know, keeping me positive, keeping me motivated. And then, you know, my parents, my, my mom and dad, those, those two guys have, have uh, never, you know, said anything bad about my tennis. They've always been encouraging. And, uh, and Celeste has come on board in the last few years, my fiancé, and, and she's really made things easy for me to be away from, from home that much. She's never complained about that tough schedule. And then uh, if I keep going with that list, there's, there's so many people. There's an old coach of mine, Steve Smith, in the U.S. You know, actually, this Davis Cup team, a lot of these people have been there in my corner for a long time, you know, so... Uh, I could go on forever thanking people, but uh, my, my closest family and, and friends around me are, are probably the biggest reason because they've always encouraged me to keep playing. So, Australian Open final, obviously a highlight, but give us a little bit of the highlights of your career so far. Yeah, um, the biggest highlight probably for me to this date is the Australian Open, but along the way I, I remember um, playing against Canada when, when, I, when, when Isaac van der Merwe and I beat Daniel Nesta and, and Basak Pospa. So that was probably the first time when I looked at myself in the mirror and said, like, yes, I think I can do this as a, as a doubles player, you know. Um, a few years before that, I played uh, in Newport where I had my best singles result. I qualified and made quarterfinals of an ATP event, so that stands out to me. Um, a few other events when I was a junior in South Africa, I made the finals of the AJC African Junior Championships. That was very exciting to me. And then... Uh, yeah, now being part of this, uh, this Davis Cup team in a more senior role is, is something that I've enjoyed. You know, I, my first few years on the Davis Cup squad was sort of sitting in the background, you know, trying to learn as much as possible. And I've enjoyed stepping up to the plate and really making a difference on, on the senior side. Um, and now I hope that most of my highlights are still in the future. South Africa is a big part of your life. It's, it's important. What makes South Africa so special? Oh, man. Yeah, where do I start with that? I... I, when I was 18, I moved to, to Tampa, Florida, and I spent probably about eight or nine months of the year in the U.S. And at that stage, I really thought that um, the U.S. is where I was going to end up. But when I had my knee injuries, I came back to South Africa. I spent two years in Cape Town rehabbing from knee injuries, and I really fell back in love with the country. You know, I, just, I was like, what was I ever thinking by leaving here? You know, I, I can't do it. The culture, the people, the conditions, the weather, you know, it's, it's, there's so much that's positive about this place that, that I really can't keep that up for, for anything. Last question. Little boy comes up to you and says, I want to be a Ravenclaw. What does he have to do as a kid? 
oh, I'd say keep your dream alive. Always have the dream there. That's the first thing. That motivates you to get up. Secondly, don't compare yourself to others. You have your own road to follow. And thirdly, have patience because this sport rewards that. You know, you got the, the hard work and determination, that's a given. But choosing your own path and having patience, those are key.